What up boys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we're also looking at a raw gold farm but as I mentioned in the video earlier today Blizzard did a stealth nerf on the raw gold farms because they pretty much reduced the value that you got uh, the gold value that you got from vendoring the items in chromie time but you can still do a lot of great gold farms where you combine a decent amount of raw gold with also a chance at getting some big ticket items and that's what this video is about and i got a couple of these videos lined up so make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel and that way you'll be notified whenever i upload videos right and big thank you once again to everyone the last couple of weeks that has picked up the zero to 10 million gold guide the support has been insane and i'm so glad that you guys are liking the updates and that's the key part about the book not only does it feature all of the best gold farms that I personally use in order to achieve multiple gold caps, but it also comes with a lifetime of free updates. So the people that bought this book back in BFA are still getting the Dragonflight updates, and so will you. If you buy it today using the discount code Dragonflight for 50% off, you'll get a lifetime of free updates regardless of what retail expansion you're in. So you can find that linked down below. Now, today's farm is a classic, and we did it before the nerf. So you guys can take a look at it right here. It is the infamous Silithus farm, which look at the amount of mobs you're killing. It is absolutely insane. So Tenetic made me aware of this farm, saying that he made over 20,000 gold an hour in raw gold. So that's just in uh, picking up raw gold from the mobs and vendoring items. And he was right. It did net us over 20,000 gold raw an hour, like per two, not in total, but per character, got over 20,000 gold raw. So the reason why this farm is still good today, like it shouldn't give you 20k now because of the reduced vendor price, but you're still looking at a solid uh, like 10 to 12,000 gold an hour raw. And uh, on top of that, you can get some extremely expensive transmog items doing this farm. We're talking about uh, items such as the, the Tibu, Blade of Hana, Skull Flame Shield, Glorious Legs. Like if we look at some of the prices right here, Blade of Hana, gotta go all the way down. Over 300,000 gold, market value of 511,000 gold. And then, of course, the uh, Skull Flame Shield, over 200,000 gold. We have the OG T Boo at 300,000 gold. Like, there's so much potential on this gold farm. So, right now, before Dragonflight comes out, obviously, I consider this to be a very solid gold farm because raw gold, everyone loves raw gold collectibles are really good right now because they don't go on the uh, region wide auction house so the location of the farm if you haven't done Salitus farm before takes place right here at the twilight base camp it is important to notice though if you uh go into Salitus, you can be faced over to the uh the bfa uh Salitus. and if that's the case if you don't see Salitus like it is right now you got to talk to Sidormi all the way at top at the zone to face back to the OG Salitus. Now, when we pulled the numbers that we did, we did do it in a 2 times 4 group and not a 5-man group. Can be done in a 5-man group as well, but it's just better in a 2 times 4 group. Uh, and the concept behind this, what makes it so good, is the chromie time facing, which I've explained in the previous videos, but just in case this is the first time you're watching one of these videos, basically... Blizzard, they uh, changed chromie time in the pre-patch, making every single chromie time uh, scale the mobs all the way up to level 60. Now, what that change did was the fact that not only does the mob scale to 60, but when you kill them, they drop uh, like level 60 loot as well. And level 60 loot, they will vendor for way more gold than uh, level 30 loot. And so does... Uh, like the, the green items, they scale up to 60. Gray items have the same uh, 60 vendor value. And also simple stuff like the raw gold pickup. That, that's also scaled up. So you get like 80, 100 gold each time you loot a pile of mobs. So it is really good raw gold. But in order to do this, you need to have a tune that's below level 60. Because on a level 60, you can't enter chromie time. So you invite the dude that's lower than level 60... And he joins any chromie time, doesn't matter which chromie timeline he joins in. And then he can open up the map 
and he can he will have this box down here under the the quest journal that says party sync so he can sync all the level 60 people into his timeline and they will have their mob scaled to 60 and then it's happy farming time so if you want to do this in a two times four format you need one guy that's lower than level 60 in each group so you have two people lower than 60 and three level 60s in each group and uh, as you could see in the video we're doing this with a monk as well for the statue because you can't one hit level 60 mobs so you just pull all the mobs to the statue and a him down and it is insanely good <coughs> it really is so if there's any questions whatsoever just leave them down below in the comment section and as I said, even with the stealth nerf that they did to the reduced gold on vendoring, there is going to be a couple of farms out there that I've lined up that is still performing really well. So make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel to catch those. And of course, you can always take a look at the 0 to 10 million gold guide if you haven't bought it yet. But that's it for today's video. So thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all back in at tomorrow's video. But until then, bye bye.